Okay, for this video, we're going to look at the introduction to parentheses problem set. And you can see that we're asked to evaluate something that has parentheses in it. And what that means is we're going to have to use the order of operations, which is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, some of you remember it that way. I certainly do. Uh, I do write it a little differently. You see, I was writing it going straight down, but I group M and D together, multiplication and division, and I group addition and subtraction together because that reminds me that they get done at one time. It's not multiplication and then division. It's multiplication and division at the same time. If I have more than one, I have to go left to right. But at the top of my hierarchy here is P, and that is parentheses. And that's what we are supposed to do first. So when we see parentheses, like here, that is where I want to start. I want to start right here and do that first. And since there's only one thing inside the parentheses, that's what I have to do. So 8 minus 2, that's where I'm going to start. 8 minus 2 gives me 6. And the rest of this, I'm just going to bring down. Just bring down the divided by 3. I have done the thing that is at the top of my priority list. I have done the parentheses. And that's why they're no longer there, because 8 minus 2 is 6. I don't need any parentheses around that. That is just 6. And since there's only one thing left to do, I mean, it is further down my list, multiplication and division. Division, 6 divided by 3, that's all I've got left to do. That gives us 2. So I have evaluated this problem. I have simplified it all the way down to just one number, making sure that I did the parentheses as the very first order of operation. 